Hi, I'm Paul Crawford with D3 Skis, and we've got a quick tutorial video to show you how to adjust your fin and set up your fin when you get your new D3 ski. The fin blocks that we use at D3, it's called a rocker block we've designed, and there's six Phillips screws on top that hold the fin block to the ski. I always double check those when I first get my ski to make sure that they're snug, nice and tight, so that the fin block itself is secured to the ski. There's three bolts on the side, three Allen bolts on the side. This is what clamps the fin blade shut, or the fin block shut over the blade. So I check those to make sure they're real snug as well. When you get your new ski, the factory will set the fin at a generic starting point. What you'll want to do at that point is bring these three studs. There's three studs uh, two on top and then one in the back and you'll want to bring those down into position so that they touch the fin blade. You'll be able to feel when it snugs up and then I know I'm contacting I'm actually contacting the top edge of the fin blade inside the ski. Once I know those three contact points are touching that I'm snug, I can go ahead and loosen these three bolts when I'm ready to adjust the fin and I, I'll have a home, a place where that, that fin blade will butt up against these three points, and then I can make adjustments from there using these micro-adjust studs. On the bottom of the ski, we've got a, a mark, a scribe that comes from the factory. That gives us, gives, gives us a reference point to work with this small scale on the fin blade itself, so we kind of know where we're going to go forward and aft. Um, same with the uh, horizontal lines here. It kind of gives us a reference point of how much we're tipping the fin or what depth we're at. These are just reference marks uh, for your reference as you go forward. To adjust the fin, we're concerned with basically three measurements. The first being depth. I'd like to use the second hole, the, the back edge of the second hole. I go ahead and put my edge of the caliper there Go ahead and close, and there's our measurement, 24500. Zero, zero. So 245, that's my depth. The other distance we're concerned with is distance from tail. Now I use the flat measurement. You're gonna use the flat end of the caliper. You're gonna need to choose a reference point on your caliper and be consistent with that. Typically, I use this upper line on my personal caliper there, there's lines on the D3 calipers as well. Go ahead, hold that in place, make sure it's flush and stays consistent and that you're level with the fin, and go ahead and close. 7280, so I'm just behind 73. On the length measurement, or how much the fin is sticking out of the ski, this can be useful in how we tip the fin if you want to add length to the leading edge. We use the tip measurement, so I'm going to use the tips of the calipers. I'm going to touch, and I'm not going to cross the slot, and I'm going to touch the leading edge and the trailing edge, and there's my length measurement, 6.9285, so I'm just under 693. Now the other measurement that some people use is laying the caliper on the ski and then closing. We don't use that, you'll see it's a drastically different measurement. So when we talk about tips, this is what we mean. We're using the tips of the calipers, okay? Once we have the fin blade measured and in place and we're locked down, it's time to install the wing. This is the wing that comes with all the D3 skis. I drop it on here with my Phillips screws in place. Then we can go ahead and just tighten it up. What I do is I like to just get the fin or get the wing in place, tighten it up to where it just I can still move it. I'm not so tight that I can't slide it around like that. And then if you use our wing angle gauge set, we do have a, a shim tool that goes over like this, and that allows you to go ahead and put the wing angle gauge you want in. 
and then you can set the fin that way. Set the wing angle gauge that way, then tighten it up. For me, what I've started doing since we've designed the rocker block, now this rocker block has a radius. This fin block has a radius to the base of it. So when I tighten this fin block to this ski, I'm creating a little more rocker and radius in this distance of the ski. So that being said, it's not flat. So you can see when I, when I push on the front and the back of these angle gauges, I'm using this as my straight edge, you can see how it rocks. So what I, I choose to do is I hold my thumb on this end, so I'm creating a consistent flat spot to measure my wing angle gauge off of. So I always typically choose a seven when I'm setting up skis for folks to try. So I'll put my seven in place and I'm holding it flush this way. There's a little space there, but now I'm creating a consistent wing angle gauge contact point. So then I go ahead and just snug these screws up. And now I can go ahead set the seven degrees. I always go back and tighten the screws and get them really snug because we don't want that wing to move once it's in place. Now we've got our wing set, our fin set. One thing I always recommend doing before you head out for that ski ride because we get excited to go is tighten the side allen bolts. Double check those one more time because even the best of us have left those loose. It's even happened to Nate Smith recently. So once you know that that's all snug and you've got your wing in place, you're ready to go. If you have any questions about fin setup, you can contact us at info at d3skis.com.